What's up, everybody? It's been a while since I put a video up. I don't know, it's really not much to show. I mean, uh, I got the frame painted, underneath the cars painted. A lot of scraping, sandblasting, priming. Yuck. So, probably why I didn't videotape much, because it's like, you know, watching paint dry. Really not much to show. Oh, let me see under here. Oh yeah, look at that. So the bottom of the car is painted gray. The frame is painted gloss black. Frame's bolted back on. Turned out pretty good. I'm happy. That's all that matters, right? I did make a patch panel for the floor. And I should have probably videotaped it, and I didn't. But, uh, oh, come on, Mr. Light. There's a couple of bad spots. There's one spot here, a little bit right there and there. But this was the biggest spot that was, I just cut it all out and made a new one. Uh, even put the little dimples in there and the ribs and cut the hole out for the body mount and plug welded it in for the uh, lower support. It's not pretty, but you know what? It'll work. The rest of the floor is rock solid, even on the other side. Rock solid. I did extend my trans tunnel up a little bit, so now my transmission will clear. That's done. I get most of the underbody underneath the ah, underneath the dash primed already, and in the back half back here I do have primed. I just didn't prime this spot yet because I'm always standing there. I still got to sand the dash down. Haven't determined if I'm going to pull the windshield out yet or not. Kind of leaning towards pulling the windshield. We'll see. Uh, let's see what else. Painted the firewall white just because, why not? <laughs> Didn't have to, but I don't feel like putting mud in it, so, you know, white covers up more than if I painted it gloss black. Here's some dimples and ribbles and, you know, good enough for me. This isn't a show car. It's a driver. And I did sandblasting here there. Uh, it's been cold. Really cold. Actually we had two days of nice weather. Now we're going back into minus 10 for tonight. So I did do some sandblasting before it got too cold. And I do have some stuff painted over here. Waiting for it to dry. So, we are making progress, it's just, I should be putting more videos up, but like I said, it's just watching paint dry, nothing really exciting at the moment. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Workbench is a disaster, shop is a mess. So, I'm just going to keep plugging away at this. Probably my next, next feat will be the dash, I want to get that painted before I go any further in here and then once that's painted I can start assembling that uh, once the suspension parts are dry I can start putting the front end together and once I get all these pieces parts that are not in my way then all that grinding and you know sandblasting and all that stuff is done with I must take this engine apart and see if it's any good and if it is good we'll you do a quick re-ring and bearings and a cam and clean it up, paint it, make it look pretty, and get it jammed in a car. Stupid heater's been running non-stop. <laughs> but uh, yeah, once we get that prepped and running, the transmission's already done. I rebuilt that last year. So this is going to go pretty quick here. I know I got some stuff going on. I haven't been up at the shop real much as of late some family stuff and then uh you know work stuff and just stuff but every night trying to do a little bit so here's where we're at here's a little quick update uh not sure when the next video will be probably when some more interesting stuff comes along and until then i'll talk to you all later